Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. It's so pretty outside, but that's not only where the beauty lies. Indoors, we have some fantastic galleries. Cogswell Gallery is one of them. We're going to check in with Eddie Campos now, and he's going to tell us about an artist that will be in the gallery today and tomorrow. Thanks for coming in, Eddie. Yeah, thanks for having me. We'll actually be having James Moore. Uh, he's a sculptor out of Loveland, Colorado, and he's going to be here between 1 to 6 p.m. Um, today and tomorrow, and we're just uh, excited to have him. Yeah. yeah. I was he's, curious to see where he was from, you know, with his subject matter being a lot of the animals that we see in the state of Colorado. Yes, of course. So James Moore actually started in Texas where he spent most of the summers with his grandparents. And he started out drawing, then went to painting, and eventually sculpting wildlife and domestic animals, which is where you see here. And that's so interesting to go from the drawing to the painting and then sculpture, because 3D art, that can be quite yeah, a bit it's different. Yeah, quite a challenge <laughs> compared to the 2D. Campus. Yes. And especially making something this little, mostly we'll see huge, huge sculptures, or maybe life-size. But you've got to scale it all down, and I love how these are all perched on uh, just a, their own little platform that goes with the art of the animal. Yeah, and it definitely makes it easier for travelers coming in. You can just pack in your suitcase, but it is a more intimate um, element mm -hmm. with these smaller sculptures. They're highly detailed but it definitely lets you focus more on the animal itself and the surroundings. Yeah, and something great for the shelf. And there's the Longhorn, there's the Texas influence. Yes, there is a Texas influence. <laughs> okay, and that could be something that speaks to you. Maybe you are from Texas and you want to bring a Longhorn back. Exactly, which is what we get a lot in Vail. Okay, and he's yeah. going to be here today and tomorrow from 1 to 6. Yeah, he'll be here 1 to 6. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't here to make it with us. He's on the drive from Loveland. Uh, but he will be here from 1 to 6, and he does this work here, but he also does this here, collaboration, which she does with Sandy Keller. Okay, this is so neat, the bright acrylic background. And it's really fun when you see artists collaborating together. You never quite know what you're going to come up with, and yeah, this is exactly. gorgeous. And this is actually, so this is by Sandy Keller. She creates these really rich colors by layering up to 50 layers, and then finally applies a resin, giving it that glossy look. But she does do that acrylic abstraction, like I said. And the whole idea behind these pieces is to capture that moment when you encounter wildlife. You yeah. focus more on the animal itself, which is why these are highly detailed. It's more of an intimate reaction here. But then on the backgrounds, you get a more blurred and abstract, kind of like you do when you face an animal. Well, that's the thing. You see an elephant for in, in the wild for the first time. Yeah. Uh, you don't know what else is around you. No, it, you definitely are very struck by the animal itself, and everything around you becomes abstract, and so that is oh, the whole idea behind these pieces. That's great, and, and fun to just showcase something different uh, with this bright, bright acrylic background. And then tell us about this one. So this one here is actually James Moore as well, but he doesn't do the collaboration. So this is the travertine with elk here, and this is actually poured concrete. Oh, so wow. they're not as heavy as one would think. They look a little bit massive, but they're not. So this one is poured concrete, but they're both um, on frames. This one's on walnut wood. So they're fairly light and very easy to install in every home. Mm -hmm. All right, will James be working on anything while he's here? Sometimes, you know, they've got a little project going yeah, or something, unfortunately, a little show and tell. Yeah, definitely a lot of show and tell. He's bringing up new pieces. Uh, so you'll definitely see a very large room with uh, all of the different variations of sizes, animals. So if you like a particular setting or animal, they do give the option of placing one and just choosing an animal. Okay, yeah, maybe doing some commission work. Perfect. Yeah, of course. All right, pick your favorite animal and come on down. And what other types of art do you have at Cogswell Gallery? So we have a lot of uh, different varieties. Honestly, one of the biggest varieties in Vail. We have a lot of impressionistic, mountain, modern, as well as just a lot of, plenty of bronzes and jewelry to display there. Yeah, the jewelry. The turquoise jewelry is just amazing. That's kind of where Cogswell Gallery got its start with John Cogswell, Yes, right? that is how we got our uh, start with Native American artifacts with turquoise squash blossoms, which transitioned from the squash blossom into Cogswell Gallery. All right. Well, thank you so much. And James will be in the studio today and tomorrow. What time again? Yeah, James will be there from 1 to 6 p.m. today and tomorrow, uh, again, at Cogswell Gallery. We're just right down the stairs from the Children's Fountain and just next to Up the Creek Restaurant and Mountain Standard. All right. Thank you so much. Eddie Campos from Cogswell Gallery. You can find out more by going to their website, which is cogswellgallery.com, or just stop in today. James Moore will be there all the way until 6 p.m. We have more coming up, including how to navigate the back bowls with the spring weather.